Hey, how's it going, YouTube? We got another Locals gameplay here today. We have a green Kinemon mirror match. Here, I think you still want to go second in the mirror match. If you do end up going first, you want to just make sure you have the Odin on curve so you can push for damage harder. So, turn two. For the Kinemon on the left, he has 3 Don. He'll probably want to try to rest the Okiku, but instead he just goes face with leader, plays his own Okiku, 1 Don open. I have 4 Don now. I can choose to rest the Okiku and then attack for 8 with the leader, or attack for 7 into the Okiku with the leader, but he might have. A Paradise Waterfall, that's always a possibility. I choose the Yamato, his Okiku, 5,000 to Okiku, draw out that one card from his hand, and if he does have Paradise, he has Paradise. And there we see it, Paradise Waterfall, he stands his Okiku. One down open, I'm deciding whether or not I want to put out a blocker to make it harder for him to KO anything on my board. but I decide to let it go. I think I'm okay letting him KO the Kiku if he does end up resting it. Just because my leader can be active again, I don't want to have too many, too wide of a board that I can't activate leader ability. So he's gonna use his Okiku to rest my Okiku. 6,000 a leader, so this is the second attack to leader. I'm just gonna take it. I'm really just trying to draw into my Odin. I don't have a high a top end card right now. I only have the seven calls kid. But I also don't want to get too low on life. He's still at five life. Four down left. He's probably going to load up on his leader and just go for the Okiku that he rested. Seven thousand from leader to Okiku. I'm just gonna let that go. Two down open might be a blocker, might be a punk Gibson. I do have a punk Gibson in hand. If he does ever play a blocker and I can't get around it. So two for the killer blocker, and he's gonna pass turn. So now I can start swinging into that Okiku. So five from leader to Okiku. He's not gonna to want to block that. Just gonna draw out a card from his hand. Get the Rizo, 1k counter. Now I have a Yamato in hand that I can use to rest the blocker and then go for that Okiku. So Yamato. And here I'm deciding whether or not I want to put the one extra Don onto Yamato. I don't. Okay, I'm just going to save that one Don for a blocker and the other two Don for the Punk Gibson. So I draw a 2k counter out of his hand as well. So now he's down to two cards in hand. He will be at seven Don next turn. So he's probably going to play, the only option he has is to play the seven drop kid. He has two, two characters on board, so he can't play the Odin for cheaper. So that's good for me. If he wanted to play the Odin, he would have let one, either the Okiku or the Blocker go. But he didn't. So now he's forced to play 7 cost kid. 5 to leader with Okiku. That's, we, we'd want to counter out of that. We already have 3 life. That's a 1k counter. Toss out the Toki. 5 from leader again. So he has all his Don saved up, so that's really just telling me he probably just gonna summon the 7 cost kid. Gonna have to counter out of this one again, or just block it. I'm gonna punk Gibson. 
rest that blocker again so I can clear it. Now I am at 8 down, and he's fully expecting me to play the Odin, but I don't have it in hand. So he has two cards in hand. I need to get rid of that blocker. I'm going to 6,000 to Okiku. Maybe he'll save it. Maybe he'll let it go. He's not going to want to block with Kid because I can still load up on Yamato to kill it. I have a Ryzo in hand, a Beige. There is a 5 cost law. So he does 2k counter out of that. Which is fine. I have 8 Don, so I could put 1 on Yamato and swing for 7 to Okiku to let it die. Or he could protect it with the blocker and a card, which is not ideal for him. If he lets it go, and I have 7 left, and now he knows for sure I can't play Odin, I'm gonna play the 7 cost kid with the rest of my Don. And here I'm telling him, if he does have the Odin, he's got it. <laughs> and he does. He's at 9 Don. He could play the Odin for 7, so he have 2 Don open. I do have the Toki blocker. So he's going to swing 6 with leader into one of the Yamatos. I kind of want to save it. But here I do a really risky play. Only because he showed me that he had an Odin and he only has one other card. So I block it with... I block it with the, the kid. It's risky because if he does have a rester, he could rest my Toki blocker. And then swing with everything loaded up on the kid onto my 7 drop. And then I'll be out of the 7 drop. But then at the very least, he won't play the Odin that turn. He's got a pretty dominating board right now. I My board is wider than his. And if I can get something else on board, I just have to keep going aggress aggressive. 10 down open, I have 4 swings, I have a couple chump blockers in my hand. That 7 drop blocker isn't really going to do too much for him just because he doesn't have anything to counter out of. So I'm just going to go 5 to leader, I'm going to start poking at life. I just have to keep going wider. 6 to leader. Still not going to block that. Can't counter out of it either. So he takes it. He's at 3 life. So we both have 3 life. I have 2 attacks left. I'm going to go 7 to leader. Either have him drop 2 cards from hand. Or he's going to take that life. So he takes it. You see another Odin he has in his hand. So now the question is... What do I do with the rest of my Don? I still have 9 Don. He technically has 4 attacks, so I can potentially lose. Well, I can't lose because I actually have the blocker from 7 drop. So I have to focus on being aggressive. I kept up. I only put 1 Don on the kid, so I have 8 Don left. I'm thinking of doing the Searcher and Law combo. So 2 for Momo. Just get a quick card. You see, I search into either an Odin or a Yamato. Those are the options. I'm thinking if I get the Odin, I'm going to waste a whole turn and it can't be aggressive. But if I do pick the Yamato, I can rest any chump blocker he has and just keep going aggressive. So I go with the Yamato. I'm going to do 5 for the Law. Bounce the Momo back to hand and I summon a Rizo just for more board presence. If I had a Okiku, would have been better. See that one Don left open? I should have just attached it to the kid to swing for 9 earlier. 
But this way, when open, he'll still think I have potentially a Paradise Waterfall. So he's at one life to my three. All I have to do is have enough attacks on board to push for game next turn. He can't really spend the turn and build board even wider. It's not worth it for him. Because he's going to waste the whole turn and he can't attack or clear anything from my board. So he has a 5 cost law in hand. I see a killer blocker. There's a Momo. I'm going to counter out of that first attack. He's going to 8,000 into Yamato. Not worth protecting. I was also not sure if I have the counters for that. I was thinking about potentially blocking with Law, but there's no point because they're both 6k attack, and at least Law can be a blocker. So I know for sure I can't lose this turn. Probably can't lose next turn either because he's focusing on my board. So he's going to 9 into Yamato. It's going to have to go. Looks like he's doing the Searcher and Law combo as well. He has 5 down open for it. Takes a Yamato. So right now he has a bunch of non-counters in his hand. I have 3 cards in hand it looks like. And that's his turn. 5 for the law and probably pull up the blocker that he has in hand. And pass turn. So he has three blockers on board. Now I'm considering whether or not I can push for game. I can rest something. I can rest one of the blockers with a Yamato that I drew. I search for Momo. So I'm going to rest. either the law or the killer blocker but I'm thinking if I rest the law then he, he can't block with the law and have it die so I'm just gonna rest the killer it's gonna easy swing with the riser with the killer I think I should have saved that swing for later but I want to make sure I have enough swings to potentially kill any of the blockers that he does block with so I just swing Rizo first. Now I just gotta swing heavy at life and force him to block. So seven to leader, see what he does. What's going through my mind right now is that since he played up two blockers, last turn with Law, Law and the killer, it's just telling me that he doesn't have that many counters in hand and that he needs to wall up because he, he feels like he is in a position to lose. I have four down left. And I know he has a Yamato in hand, so I'm thinking I should probably swing with the law blocker as well. So I do nine to leader. He has to block or he has to counter out, and I don't think he has 5,000 counter in hand. So if he blocks that, I think I'll swing with the law as well. So he's gonna block that with the law. It goes. I have two down open. If I swing now, I can draw out another counter from his hand. And that's what I do. But honestly, I don't think I needed to swing with the law blocker. I could have left him active because I was and I ended up playing another chump blocker. So if I left the law active and had a chump blocker, he would have been forced to spend more Don to rest them all. So he's at ten Don. He has to spend the four for the Yamato to rest one of the blockers. He needs three for Odin to swing twice. So he really only has five down left. He's going to five into the Rizo, which I don't think there's any reason to save. I only have 
two, maybe three cards in hand. So now I already know he's not going to go for game. Or not going to try. 8,000 to law. I just blocked that just to force him to just have to swing again. But now I guess he doesn't have to use the Yamato. Now he's looking for more options with his Momo search. Hindsight, I really should have just left the law active just because I was going to play another blocker out. And this way he would be forced to swing at life and give me more cards. He attacks with Odin, clears my law blocker. I still have three attacks that I can use next turn. Four to rest the Yamato. He's going to try to kill the Yamato with Odin. I really can't let that go. But I do, and he summons out another Toki blocker. So I didn't have any counters in hand enough for enough for that Odin attack. So I have 10 Dawn. All I need to do is rest the one blocker and then attack twice and make sure one of them lands. To know that I have less cards, I can cheat out the Yamato for three. Seven Dawn left. I can do nine, swing for nine and swing for 10. So I could just swing for 9 first, see if he has 5k in counter in hand. He does have a lot of cards. And it doesn't look like he has it. And so 10k swing and that's game. Thanks for watching.